Okay, so for this week we're talking about our research paper topics, and for my paper I chose the 9-11 attacks and how they have impacted the U.S. in terms of um, media coverage and um, lessons that the U.S. has learned from these attacks and um, the treatment of victims and moving on from 9-11. So... That's kind of a lot written down for my topic, so I, just, I do need to narrow that down, but that's what I've written down so far. Okay, and um, effective search terms, I, um, just to see what would come up, I typed, I just simply typed in the 9-11 attacks in the search bar, and that gave me over 5,400 results, which, of course, is a lot. So, um... After that, I typed in I typed in effects after 9/11 attacks, and that gave me a little over 2,500 results, which was still a lot. Um, I kind of played around with it for a while, and you know, just seeing what how many results I would get, and then finally I typed in 9/11 um, in the main search bar, and then below it in the and search bar, I typed in um, media coverage, and while that did give me a lot of results. It actually, I actually did find a few helpful articles, even though there were a lot. And I also, while I was playing around with it, I also typed into the and search bar um, how they have impacted the U.S. and that gave me 255 results, which was a lot better. And I think I did manage to pull an article out from that search. I think so. We'll find out when I read off what I have. Um, okay, citations. Yeah, APA citations. I don't think we're supposed to read out the actual citations, so I'll just read the titles for the articles that I found. So I have to bring them up here. Um, okay, one of them is The Journey to September 12th, A 9-11 Victim's Experiences with the Press, the President, and Congress. So that fits in with the uh, um, treatment of victims. I, I kind of added that section, that to my topic, once I found this article, because um, it's a relatively short article, so I read through it, and it was very interesting, so I kind of, I wanted to use that in my paper, so I added that small section to my topic, so I'd like to hold on to that section of my topic, in terms of narrowing, narrowing it down. Okay, and then another article I found are victims' groups following the 9-11 terrorist attacks, so that fits into, like, moving on from the attacks as new, like, um, not foundations, organizations were formed after the attacks. So that fits in moving on. And then another article is Lessons Learned About Secondary Traumatic Stress Among Clinicians. I guess that's how you say it. Clinicians responding to the September 11th terrorist attacks. So that kind of fits in with, fits in with treating victims in terms of, you know, medical issues or medical coverage, we'll say. And then another article is labeling terror in the media coverage of political violence before and after 9-11. That's one of the articles I found from media coverage. And the last article I found also fits into media coverage. It's kind of an overview of, um, it kind of deals with the press. So it kind of deals with um, how they title or um, yeah, how they title their articles since the attacks and like how they talk about certain things since the attacks. So it says, the effect of terrorist events on media portrayals of Islam and Muslims, evidence from New York Times headlines, 1985 to 2013. So it's just how they, let me get out of that, how they write out articles or if they are biased towards this situation since the, since different terrorist attacks and 9-11 being one of them. Um, questions, I don't really have any questions right now because I'm very familiar with using the library database. So I'll probably have more questions as we work, get through the assignment more, but for right now I don't have any questions. So yeah, that's, that's it for this week. Um, thank you guys and I will see you all next week.